Wikileaks founder Julian Assange is hit with 17 new charges in America under the Espionage Act for conspiring with Chelsea Manning to disclose national defense information, and now faces 170 years in prison Assange was hit with 18 counts on Thursday by a grand jury in Virginia. 17 are new and are violations of the Espionage Act which is ordinarily reserved for government officials. The indictment alleges he and Manning conspired to disseminate classified information in 2009 and 2010. They used her access to Defense Department computers to harvest the information and publish it. He has always argued he was right to publish it on WikiLeaks as a journalist. It's the first time in history that anyone operating in a journalistic capacity has been charged under the Espionage Act. WikiLeaks on Twitter called Assange's prosecution the end of national security journalism and the First Amendment. U.S. authorities now have until June 11th to submit their extradition case to the U.K. Assange is in London, completing a 50-week jail term. For violating the conditions of his bail from a 2012 sex assault arrest in Sweden he was arrested in April after being thrown out of the Ecuadorian embassy he spent seven years hiding there from both U.S. and Swedish authorities. Alian Assange has been charged in the U.S. with 17 violations of the Espionage Act for conspiring with Chelsea Manning. A federal grand jury returned the indictment against him in Virginia on Thursday afternoon. Now. The 47-year-old WikiLeaks founder faces 170 years behind bars. 17 of the 18 charges are violations of the Espionage Act. They are, 1 count of conspiracy to receive national defense information, 8 counts of obtaining national defense information, 8 counts of disclosure of national defense information. The 18th charge is conspiracy to commit computer intrusion which he was hit with in April. It's the first time in history that anyone operating in a journalistic capacity has been charged under the Espionage Act and raises concerns about First Amendment limits and protections for publishing classified information. WikiLeaks on Twitter called Assange's prosecution the end of national security journalism and the First Amendment. WikiLeaks on Twitter called Assange's prosecution the end of national security journalism and the First Amendment. The charges X1 conspiracy to receive national defense information, Espionage Act X8 obtaining national defense information, Espionage Act X8 disclosure of national defense information, Espionage Act X1 conspiracy to commit computer intrusion maximum sentence. 170 years First Amendment Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. WikiLeaks editor-in-chief Kristen Raffinson said in a tweet, I find no satisfaction in saying I told you so to those who for nine years have scorned us for warning this moment would come. I care for journalism. If you share my feeling you take a stand now. Either you are a worthless coward or you defend Assange, WikiLeaks and journalism. The US has until June 11th to submit its case to the UK for to extradite Assange. Then, the process could take months or even years. Sweden is also appealing for him to return there to face sexual assault allegations. After announcing the charges on Thursday, John Demers, the head of the Justice Department's National Security Division, told reporters, Assange is no journalist. Assange is in London, fighting extradition to the U.S., after being expelled from the Ecuadorian embassy. He is completing a 50-week jail sentence in the U.K. for violating bail conditions for his Swedish sexual assault arrest. Assange fled to London, taking asylum in the Ecuadorian embassy, in 2012. Together. U.S. prosecutors say he revealed the names of intelligence sources in Afghanistan, China, Iran, Iraq and Syria among other breaches by uploading a hall of information to WikiLeaks that Manning had access to. In its announcement on Thursday, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Eastern District of Virginia said, in late 2009, Assange and WikiLeaks actively solicited United States classified information including by publishing a list of most wanted leaks that sought, among other things, classified documents.
Manning responded to Assange's solicitations by using access granted to her as an intelligence analyst to search for United States classified documents, and provided to Assange and WikiLeaks databases containing approximately 90,000 Afghanistan war related significant activity reports, 400,000 Iraq war related significant activities reports, 801 Guantanamo Bay detainee assessment briefs and 250,000 U.S. Department of State cables. The 37-page indictment was returned in the Eastern District of Virginia on Thursday last month. Manning was put behind bars for contempt of court for not agreeing to testify against Assange before a grand jury. She refused, saying she did not believe in the secrecy of the process. She was released but was sent back again after saying she would rather starve than testify against him. In April, Assange was dramatically dragged from the Ecuadorian embassy in Knightsbridge, central London, some seven years after he sought political asylum after the documents were published. He is currently fighting against extradition to the U.S. U.S. authorities allege the whistleblower conspired with Manning, 31, with reason to believe that the information was to be used to the injury of the United States or the advantage of a foreign nation. Assange published the documents on WikiLeaks with unredacted names of sources who gave information to U.S. forces in Iraq and Afghanistan. These human sources included local Afghans and Iraqis, journalists, religious leaders, human rights advocates, and political dissidents from repressive regimes, the Justice Department said. According to the superseding indictment, Assange's actions risked serious harm to United States national security to the benefit of our adversaries and put the unredacted named human sources at a grave and imminent risk of serious physical harm and or arbitrary detention. It added, many of these documents were classified at the secret level, meaning that their unauthorized disclosure could cause serious damage to United States national security. Classified rules of engagement files for the Iraq war were also handed over by Manning, U.S. officials said, and Assange is said to have agreed to hacking to secure government networks. The Justice Department said, Assange actively encouraged Manning to provide more information and agreed to crack a password hash stored on U.S. Department of Defense computers connected to the secret Internet Protocol Network, Cypernet a United States government network used for classified documents and communications. Assange is also charged with conspiracy to commit computer intrusion for agreeing to crack the password hash. He faces a maximum of 10 years in prison for each count except conspiracy to commit computer intrusion, which is punishable by five years. The new charges further complicate the extradition tug of war between the U.S. and Sweden both of which want Assange back to prosecute but neither of which has filed a formal request for it. In Sweden, there is a sexual assault case statute of limitations which means the case must be prosecuted by 2020 if he is to face trial. It remains unclear whether the UK will choose to send him there or to the